<laughs> you seem very excited to be. Are you excited? I am. I actually am. Why? Because I'm going to I'm gonna skip my plan. Like, I, you wouldn't be excited to be here. Me, I'll be excited to move. I understand. We moved here. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Stay by Plan. Hey, yeah, very <laughs> great mood. So Why? Been, what's it's, up? It's been, a, it's been a long day. We had lights off and things. It's raining, but you know, we've made it work, Charlie. It's not easy, but we made it work. Afi, how are you doing? Why the long face? I'm okay. Are you sure? No, I had a tough day at work, but I'm fine. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? At least you get paid at the end of the month, so. I mean, isn't that the motivation? Yeah, it will cool your, it will cool your <laughs> temper. Anyway, so yeah, guys, don't forget to follow us. Stay by Plan Pod everywhere. You know, it's your favorite podcast, so you need to follow. As I did on the last episode, and I'm continuing today, I'm going to read a five-star review from one of you that you left on Apple Podcasts. Okay. This one is from Bilzy or Bilizzi or something. It's from B. And he says, or she says, they say, Every single episode is hard. I can't get over this podcast. I tried listening to one episode and now I'm a huge fan. Mm-hmm. Every episode got dope in them. Love you guys. And we love you too. Oh, we love you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. So yeah. Today we have with us a special guest. Yeah, Hi. smiling. Hi. Smile well. <laughs> you seem very excited to be. Are you excited? I am. I actually am. Why? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip my plan. Like, I, you wouldn't be excited to be here. Me, I'll be excited. Mom, exactly. I understand. We moved here. I don't have a choice. <laughs> but yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Tell, tell us. I mean, I know your name because you said it like right before we started. But for the people who were not here before we started, who are you? What brings you? You to want the my couch? name or who am I? Who, both. I think All both. Yeah. Um, my name is Mami. Mami Edubia Asante Yeboa. Um, I'm a content creator slash influencer. Okay. Um, um, I like to read. I yeah, reading is like one of my biggest hobbies. I like to write as well. I'm a writer. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all you need to know for now. That's all we need to know. So there's there's no more that you can tell us about yourself. Hmm. Do you like Harry Potter? Obsessed, yes. Oh, serious. Hey, Zoo. <laughs> Zoo has been doing research, yeah, like research, serious baby. research. No, no, but she said she likes to read. And I also used to like to read, but now I'm older. I'm using all my time to follow women. Is <laughs> it your time to follow what? Women. The Lord, the Lord. I can't believe really you admitted. No, I said, I said the Lord. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, um, wow. When I was reading back in the day, I was also a big Harry Potter guy. Really? So. I figured. But they said that the Harry Potter book, they put a spell on it. So once you start reading it, you can't stop. Oh, no, no. So no. me, I say I'll not read. So I, I never read Harry Potter. We, we read it and we stopped. And we are... Did you finish all the yeah, books? Yeah, I read all of them. Yeah. You see? Did you read all the books? Yeah, I You read. see? There's a yeah, spell on the book. <laughs> How many so books many are there? Series. Uh, seven. Okay, yeah. it's not that seven. much. Okay, yeah. it's not that much. Seven main ones, yeah. Did you have a Pottermore account? Like, were you I, had it, I did it. Quiz and then I found out which house I'm in. What house were you in? They gave me Hufflepuff, so I did it again. And I got Ravenclaw. <laughs> Hufflepuff is too young for me, so yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. What which house it? did you get? Slytherin. Oh, of course. It's given. It is. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. It is. But yeah, so um, we're here to talk about a very important topic, very interesting topic. I'm very excited for this conversation. I'd love to hear your views. I'd love to hear your views too. I don't like that zoo. You don't like what? Why did you say I like to hear your views with that yeah, smirk? What's that smirk? What's the topic? You don't even know what the topic is. <laughs> really? Nope. Uh, don't mind it. She's lying. I know like surface. But zoo just showed me the outline like 10 minutes ago. Am I lying? She's not lying about that part. <laughs> but yeah, so we're here to talk about body positivity. And 
she volunteered herself for the conversation. Did she volunteered herself or you dragged her here. You are very dangerous. Said you bite me pardon. You see? <laughs> so it's no, so no, very dangerous. No, 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 no. I have a reason for that. Because the last time she was supposed to come, she didn't come. Yeah, that's true. So that you made pet. us wait for you. That wasn't but nice. You well, you I, well. I, I told you for No, why no, you know me, they always move to people. So why didn't she come? Because me, I heard some rumors about <laughs> why you didn't come. So I just wanna know. Yeah, you know. You what happened? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> So, mm-hmm. so the truth, okay, the truth, the mm-hmm. truth. I just got baptized, so the truth. I went for Angela, <laughs> and I got like drunk. And, it's for someone who has just been baptized. <laughs> this one plus one is really not before. adding up. Before, wow. But yeah, <laughs> it's good. They are doing well. This has me. I wasn't here. I'm just a listener. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was well. I didn't even go for well. Angela. Zoo so went to that way. Yeah, yeah, I went like I heard you were there, so I had to go and make sure you're fine. You but like, I couldn't even find you, so unfortunately. Hey, so because of I'm like you made us come and sit here and wait for you on Sunday. It's not like that. The Sabbath. Do so I explain this to you? Hey, so doesn't mean you didn't go to church that day. Because if you couldn't wake up no, for our podcast, then the church yeah, you it actually did. cast. It did. She didn't go away. Eh? Hey, after being baptized. <laughs> Can you free after me? Being baptized, you free. Have to baptize yourself. No, in the wrong spirit. Hey, Zoom. <laughs> <Zoo. laughs> I really wasn't here. <laughs> wasn't the Holy Spirit. Was it Maxwell, I wasn't here. Literally. <laughs> spirits. I into the spirits. Alcohol. Alcoholic spirits. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. We, we, we like, we like. I think there's a time for everything. We know some other alcoholics here, so I mean. You're yeah. not alone, don't worry. Anyway, so yeah, body positivity. I feel why. Like, are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. Oh, that's good, that's good. But it's Ellis for me, how he's just like checking, like the angles and everything. Like, yeah, shout out to Ellis. Ellis Atto. Oh, yeah, let's get into this. We are, we are kind of talking plenty. So, body positivity. What's that? What is, what's that? What's that to you? Like, what does that mean? Hmm. You know what? I think first of all, I'd like to ask what you guys think. Hey, 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 that's the podcast who that I the <laughs> <laughs> eh? Who did that to us last time? This is not what you yeah, 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 Okay, but yeah, um, I think we'll start from the other side of the couch, yeah. I value Afi's opinion so much. No, you don't. Do. What do I think about body positivity? It's just um, loving yourself at every stage of your life, even when it seems very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, no, no, no. So we had a conversation about this before we came here. Don't no, misbehave. No, 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 no. Okay. So, to me, but this might be therapy for the two of us. But like, let's continue. As a meal, I can't see. No, continue. Okay, body positivity mm. to me is being positive about your body. Mm. You know, like positivity. Really. Like self love, okay. among other things. Like no matter how each person looks, it's about being positive and. Loving yourself and your body. And I'm brown. Copy work, but I feel you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, now you're saying. She's okay. going to steal our answers. No, but I'm sorry. The, the, your yeah. definition was like when they tell you to find X in a mouth because <laughs> you're just going round in circles. But I don't know how to say it. It's in my mind, but I don't know how to say it. But yeah. Okay. Well, to me, mm-hmm. I think body positivity is basically self love, as like Ashley said, and you copied. Yeah, basically, because a lot of people think it's like promoting unhealthy behaviors and other stuff, but it's, mm-hmm. it's really just accepting you for who you are mm-hmm. and loving yourself enough to change the things you don't like about yourself. Basically, okay, yeah. that's a that's an interesting um, take. So let me ask you a question: Are you body positive? Is that what it says? Yeah. Am I body positive? As in, yes, yes, that's how you say it. So, yes, you are. <laughs> yes, that's how you say it. Ah, okay, okay. So, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Have, have you always been? been? Yeah. No, I so haven't. Always. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. No, you haven't. Oh, so no. it's like a new thing. How old are you? What? If you don't mind answering. Hmm. Like the whole world will know your age. Really. I, are you in your late 20s? No, what? I'm not. Early, Early 30s. 30s. <laughs> are you serious? I just have to go there Early, quickly. Early 20s. Early twenties. Okay, early twenties. Yeah. Like but like my suitors, I'm in my late twenties. What are your suitors like? 
Yeah. So don't digress. This topic is very important. We need to like delve in you quickly. Me. I'm, I'm 21, actually. Right. Okay. Oh. No, I will be 21 this year. So okay. I'm 20 now. Okay. okay. And um, can you tell us about the journey before body positivity? What was your... Um, so... I mean, I've not always been body positive, but I've never really been moved by the things people say about like appearances, mm. honestly. I think what pushed me to actually like want to propagate the whole body positivity, positivity agenda was one time I was stepping out with a friend of mine, right? And we were both wearing shorts. Like we were both wearing shorts. And we get somewhere and then a woman is there. She's like, I should go and change. And I was like, why? She was like, why am I exposing my body? All of that. And in my head, I was like, bro, like, is it because she's skinny? Like, she's literally wearing shorter shorts than I am. Right. Like, like bum shorts. Like, very short shorts. Mm. And I was wearing shorts, and she was attacking me yeah. because I'm big. Right. And I think it was, like, the pinnacle, pivot, epiphany, where I was like, nah, like, people really need to learn. Yeah. Yeah, I schooled my parents first. That's that's the best place to start. I've been schooling my people too. But then aside just clothing, because yeah, like even if you you have like tiny boobs or big boobs, like they are, and you wear low cuts, the energy people give you is different. So aside clothing, um, have there have there been instances where people just like shamed you or said negative things to you just because of your size? Like you haven't even done anything. Like you're literally just minding your own business. I feel like everybody has gone through that no matter what your size. Yeah. yeah, what your size. yeah. Mm. But yeah, it happens quite a lot. Does it happen now? Like, Yeah, it does. When was the last time it happened? Can you remember? On TikTok. I think I posted... Uh, hmm. TikTok, the last... Yeah. The last... The best, most, the worst place ever. Right? The last most like outstanding one was when i got like a belly button piercing and then this boy like shamed me he came on the way to the task and shame you <laughs> he was like he said something he was like my tummy is big and then i'm going to get a piercing do i think the piercing will if deflate my tummy or something like that and i was like are you guys <laughs> like, i was so shocked and at that oh, time name I had drop to- <laughs> Name oh, drop so that they, they stay by planet so we all go and get it. Yeah, I don't remember you can't see these things like that. That's terrible. I, I don't That's remember. Wild. But yeah, I was off Twitter because like there was so much. So really obviously, like, when he said it, then it became like, oh, like a thing. A lot of people were like jumping on me. it. Like they all sent me. Have you seen this? Oh my like, god! Why well, you saw it? I no, think. like I had a conversation about this thing recently. Mm-hmm. So, sorry, slight digression. Mm-hmm. But when you break up with somebody. And the person is moving on there. Like, let's say they have a new partner or they are getting married or they're having a child. Why does everybody find find the <laughs> energy to be sending? Oh, you are because it's funny. No, <laughs> they are not I'm like, I don't want to see this. Like, like come on. Personally, yeah. it's funny for me. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, sorry for the like, all the best to you guys. <laughs> Why are they sending it to you though? So that you so that what's happening? No, they are just mm-hmm. checking they're on just you. Like, have you seen that yeah. this is what the person is saying about you? Or you feel like as a good friend, <laughs> you should know if they say it. Like, I don't know, man. I would I personally wouldn't even send it. Hey, so, so if you see someone's trolling me on the internet, you not tell me that I feel somebody trolling you on the internet. Nah. Unless it's like serious or something. Like, yeah, but this is serious. But I wouldn't send it, I'll be like, you cool. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> but like if I'm saying it's like I'm reminding you that like, yo. This is what the person but is saying. But then I hadn't even seen it, so what would have been reminding? Like, would have been showing me that AC. No, like, so what's after up? After the first one, now everybody else is sending. It's like, guys. But then, like, no, but I say I wouldn't know that you sent yeah, it, right? Like, if Nanaya sent it, I would know that. Like, yeah. Hey, shout out to Nanaya. And then other people obviously she were didn't, like, though she didn't send it to me. She's not a good friend. <laughs> other people Terrible. were like, quoting the tweets as well, right? Like, there were some people who were yeah. in support of what he was saying. And then there were yeah. some people who were also like against, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm on your side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's bad vibes. Yeah. Okay. Well. So that, but I mean, I guess at that point you had already learned. Yeah. Like to love yourself, so it didn't really like. But like, to pain you small, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, me. I'm the devil's advocate here. I'm, I always say the things people Did think, it? but they don't Did see. It? Like, it's to pain you small. Mm. Like, I, no, I don't think it pained me. I was just annoyed at yeah. how somebody like that... Because you're just like some Twitter boy. I'm like, ah, what is one talking about issue? Like, ah. 
Yeah, like I was disrespected. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I felt disrespected, yeah. not yeah. hate. But yeah. yeah. Right. So, I mean, you spoke earlier about you working with your skinny, skinny? Skinny friend, slim smaller friend. friend yeah. Smaller friend. And you were both wearing shorts and then the attitude, the woman's attitude towards you guys was different. Do you feel like it's the same thing for like men and women? Like for bigger men compared to smaller men, do you think they, they kind of get the same energy from people? I won't lie. I, I do think men are body shamed as much as women. 100%. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've, I've not seen a man be body shamed before. Right? I've actually seen them yeah. be emotion shamed, like for expressing emotion. But for your body, be it. Okay, I have short boys. They're always catching heat. <laughs> I mean, you can't relate, yeah, so that's I've why seen, you don't I've know. Seen, no, but I've seen short boys. I've seen um, big boys. I've seen mm. bald boys. You know, people who are losing their hairline. Mm. I see a lot of that. Really? You don't I mean, see who that? doesn't like big boys? Yeah. Caesar likes big boys. Yeah, yeah. You like big boys? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. That? That was such a weak. <laughs> so the and basically the energy that mm. you would say the energy that women get compared to men when it comes to body shaming is different. Yeah, I do. You mm. agree? Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. I agree too. But like, I still feel like right now the men are like you said the short guys are really back to back. They are catching it on the internet. Yeah. I feel like because men men are like uh, like you're supposed to be bold, brave. Like mm. we are short. It's just me. I mean, I don't mind short boys actually. This yeah. is my Are first. You sure? Yeah, everybody I've dated before my current boyfriend was shorter than me. Mm. Yeah. I deserve an award, don't I? <laughs> How many people is that? Oh, like three. And they're all shorter than you. Oh, I mean, you're you're quite tall, so and Ghanaian men are short. So actually, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. So let's get back to the body positivity thing. This is like a very. Um, I don't know how they say when something is like is close to your heart. It's deep. Like it's a deep conversation for me, um, especially because, yes, the perfect body is the slim body, or like the perfect shape is the slim shape, as mentioned by a lot of people. So, if I don't feel um, appreciative of my body, it's almost as if I am being disrespectful or ungrateful. Does that make sense? Like yes. when when someone who is bigger is uncomfortable about their body or they don't have body positivity, the, I, the correct me if I'm wrong. The world is sometimes kinder to them, and it's like, oh, yeah, we get it. Like she's bigger, so that's why she feels some type of way. But if you're a slim girl and then you say that, oh, I don't like my weight, or I feel like I'm I'm putting on weight, or I feel like I'm too slim, sometimes it gets very harsh because people will like be like, ah, there's nothing wrong with you, so like what's what's your problem yeah. do you get what i'm saying yeah. so i think when it comes to the whole body positivity thing it sometimes works in the favor of thicker people or sometimes works in the favor of slimmer people depending on which side of the coin we are looking at so what is your view with respect to body positivity um i don't even know how to ask this question what how do you feel when people who are slim shame themselves yeah that's the question well, is that a good question? Mm, that's yeah. a good question. Yeah, yeah, it is. Actually, it is. How do I feel about it? What do I think about it? Both. Okay, so as for how I feel, I don't lie. Sometimes it annoys me. Because, like, <laughs> I'm like, actually, like... But then the thing about slim people, I mean, you see, there's a... There's a... I don't know how to put it, but there's a... Like, a line. Right. Where, like, there's, okay, there's, like, slim thick, there's slim, there's, like, really skinny. Yeah. For people who are actually very skinny, they actually get body shamed by people outside but for people like in the middle of that axis they you hardly get body shamed yeah like maybe unless somebody shaming your legs or your boobs or something like specific things so specific parts of your body right for you to like body shame yourself, yourself that's 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 wild yeah i mean everybody's fighting to be accepted by everyone but you don't want to be accepted by yourself <laughs> the, the reason why i'm i i am speaking on this topic is because i think especially in the Ghanaian society, just the topic of body shaming and like understanding the roots of why someone thinks the way they think isn't properly discovered or isn't pr properly like checked. So if a slim girl doesn't like her weights, it's just like you are being, you are being some type of way. Yeah. But for example, if this slim girl has always been seen as like attractive 
for having a particular waist size or a particular body size. And, and that is the only thing people appreciate about her. If she starts to gear off of her ideal body just a little bit, she'll start to panic, not because she's shallow, but because there's that fear of, wow, the moment I become a little bit bigger, people will not even like me anymore because everybody, every guy who approaches me is like, yo, your, your body is sexy, you, do you get it? So like, that is the kind of mindset that they have. So with that, that's more of like a confidence problem and more, more of like a self-awareness problem that they, they, they need to tackle. But if you're like, ah, but you are slim, there's nothing wrong. You are actually reiterating that bad perception they have of themselves. They're like, oh, my body is perfect, so I should be happy with my body, which is perfect when your body becomes bigger or when you become skinnier, like you should still be able to be happy about it. I don't think the, the starting point really matters. Like her size, my size, your size. If she became slimmer, she should be happy with her body. If she became bigger, she should be happy with her body. Same for me, if I became slimmer or bigger. The only reason someone should like um, be angry or upset or worried about your weight is when it starts to like affect your health. That's mm. what I think, you know? But like these conversations are not really hard. So it's just like, oh, it's okay for fast people, but it's okay for slim people. Slim people are this, but fast people are this. And Ghanaians just like, really just body shame anybody and everybody. <laughs> but especially the people who are on the extreme ends. Yeah. 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 I mean, for me, I, f I actually say that like no matter what, just don't comment to anyone's weight. Even if they look very good. Because you are giving them the, them the perception that that's their ideal body type. Exactly. If anything goes wrong. But people change. Like, you grow old, you get bigger, you get smaller. But I just want everybody to accept their bodies. Okay, so I have another, another question. So, there's different, like, beauty standards, right? It's when you go across the world. So, there's a European standard, there's an African standard. And I'll... I think we, we can all agree that the European or the Western standard is like slim, mm. like you like slim girls. Yeah. But then I feel like in Africa, especially the guys on the streets, when they see you, they'll be very, 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 <laughs> very, 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 very excited, excited yeah. to see you. Like, do you get that? Yeah, I do. So do you feel like then it's easier for, for you, it would be easier for you in Ghana than it would be for you elsewhere? To be body positive? Yeah, to be body positive. Not really. So it means your body positivity is not based on the acceptance of the male gaze. Yeah. That's right. I like it. Give, give it to me. <laughs> Come on. No, but for real though, like um, in, in Africa, in Ghana, especially when you talk to like taxi drivers and oh my God. Like, they don't want to see slim girls. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, I get that. You get that a lot, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I actually do. Quite a lot. Yeah, I thought so. Because I see it all the time. They say it. Like, you know, you know, men men are usually more comfortable speaking around other men. Anyway, so when you hear, like, Uber drivers, taxi drivers, guys on streets, they are very particular about you know, the type of woman that they're into. I mean, personally, right, Funny thing about me is if you compliment my weight, like the fact that I'm big or like I have a fupa or anything like that, it pisses me off because I don't even like I really hate people like that. Well no, he hates a strong word, but if you move to me and you're like, I really like your stretch marks, I really like your thick ties, I'm like, is that all you see? Yeah. People say that. Yeah, like wow. I had this guy move to me recently. God, it was so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but like we could be having a whole serious conversation. He's like, I really like your stretchies. I, and I'm like, Charlie, stretchies, are you serious? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> not serious. Like, is that oh, literally gosh. all you're seeing? And the fact that you're telling me that means that if you see a slim girl, you body shame her because mm. you be like, like, oh, you don't have stretchies. You have stretchies? <laughs> Why are your stretchies? Wow. Yeah, like, what don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, Charlie. So, mm. I mean... Yeah. For me, I think people should just be accepted the way they are. But how do we learn to accept ourselves the way? What's what is the what is the blueprint? Because me, I'm not body positive most of the time. It's true. Yeah. There's actually no blueprints. I don't like to No, it's on Zeus chest, so talk. Feel free. No, oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying like what what she just said is true. Yeah, like it's true for you or no, for no, her? Oh, for me. For her, like what she said. I'm not body positive. Okay, so it's let me give let me give a background. 
um, from high school. I just, want to, I just want to add that you are on bread stuff. Yeah, I know. Okay. From high school all the way up to university, I've always been a very athletic person, like gym, 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 gym. Like it's part of my mind. I already know what my target weight is, my target everything. So um, after I graduated from university and then started working, obviously I've, I still go to the gym, but for like two years now, I've been very inconsistent, right? And then my target body or target health or well-being is nothing compared to what it was. So I always say this thing that like, just because someone is slim doesn't mean they are fit. So I would go to the gym and we are doing crunches. I can't keep up with some people who are thicker than me. And that has nothing to do with weight. It has yeah. to do with like your strength, your core strength. My mm. core strength is weakened now, for example. So I would look at myself in the mirror and I'd be like, nah, you've really let yourself go. Do you get it? But Zoo would be upset with me because he's like, Girl, don't say that. Don't say that. You are fine. Do you get it? But because of the background that I have come from, I know what my body standard is. I know what it means for me to have a healthy body. When I climb 100 flights of stairs, I shouldn't feel, I shouldn't pant. So if I'm not 100, maybe like, let's say 20. If I climb like one flight of stairs, I shouldn't pant. There are stairs in my office. Now every time I climb, I pant. So yours is like more based on how fit you are. Yes, I feel like I'm not fit. So it's not really about how you look yeah. physically. I mean, when I'm fit, it kind of shows as well. For example, maybe I'll see like ab lines or like my arms will be much more firmer as compared to now. So it's kind of ties into the two. So then what's the blueprint for someone who is in a position like this? Because it's a little bit of health, but also a little bit of self-perception. I mean, I won't lie, but I think that's still body festivity. Mm. Because it's the way you want to be. If you feel like you can achieve it, don't kill yourself, no, but... If you feel like it's achievable, it's something you've done for a while. It's still body positivity. Because right. As I said, body positivity is loving yourself enough to change the things that you think are hurting you. Right. The things you want to change about yourself. And if you feel like you like this about yourself and you're leaving, nobody's supposed to complain about that. Because mm. you, mm. yeah, basically. So I, I think that's fine if you want to okay. come to that. Okay. So in your own small space, what are you actively doing to help others be body positive. So for example, when Zoo said we should bring on the podcast, Zoo's like, oh, she's someone who's like an advocate for body positivity. So what are you doing like in your small corner for people to feel um, body positive? Well, I mean, I'm a body positivity influencer. Okay. Basically. Um, I, I'm very comfortable with my body, I won't lie. Mm -hmm. I mean, for now, I go to the gym actually. A lot of people don't know, but I do go to the gym because i want to change specific things about myself and i want to tell people that it's actually okay to want to lose weight mm -hmm. like nana has said something she was like she's not body positive because she wants to lose weight that's that's still body positive mm -hmm. i mean and you know there are lots of like big girls that catch heat on the internet when they're like they want to lose weight everybody's like you are not body positive you are not defending the culture and i'm like ah. <laughs> like that's the point that's yeah. that's literally the point yeah Right. Yeah. So yeah, I, I actually like to tell girls like it's fine. Mm. The way you look is fine. And it's usually for things that you actually cannot change. Because there are people who cannot lose weight. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I can lose weight, but because I, I, I went through a bulimic phase, right? And mm. I came out of it and I was like, Charlie, all for what? Yeah. Like, is it that deep? Is it really that deep? Do you so, mind yeah. sharing that phase on the podcast? Oh, hmm. When was it? It was SHS period. It was my SHS period in like early part of level 100. And it was in SHS, it started, right? I started being bulimic mm -hmm. and yeah, calorie counts, all of those things. Now it's, it's, just, it's just hard. So you, I lost weight. Like I lost a drastic amount of weight. I would actually be a picture of that. My first year. And then when I came to the university, yeah. I started to gain the weight fast yeah and i just i just couldn't take it like, hey mommy why you kiss you <laughs> like, yeah. i just said hey can you still can break you stop. for nothing no. like i just i just and it was hard because i used to diet and all of that and nothing was working i said you know what then the food will not go down yeah so yeah i became like bulimic and then i had i had a friend who actually helped me out of that he used to tell me that oh like you're actually looking pretty i know that you know what maybe it's fine it actually is fine not maybe it actually really is fine yeah to look a certain way 
because I know big people who are actually healthy, like very healthy. Yeah. But then Ghanaians think that if you are big, yeah. you are high blood pressure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My brother can list like things. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was about to go to family. No, but before we go, I still want to continue with the okay. bulimia Actually, part. Can you share, were there any like health threats to you from the bulimia? I just well, want for, to, create, to create awareness. No, I didn't get any like. It doesn't mean go and do it over. <laughs> right? It's like, I didn't get, I like, didn't get any <laughs> serious. Yeah. I did, though. I started to feel very weak. Like, yeah. I felt less healthier than I was when I was okay. Like, yeah. I couldn't climb stairs. I couldn't even wake up. Like, I didn't used to go to class because waking up was hard. Like, I had zero energy. Right. Like, yeah, it was just a very so, horrific so, phase. Afi, please tell the listeners and viewers what bulimia is. What bulimia is. Mm, okay. Just for the people who don't know. So bulimia is um is it, will I say is it, is it an eating disorder? It's not okay. It's an eating disorder in which um people who people tend to eat food and then um, force themselves to throw up or like get rid of the food out of their body because of the fear of actually digesting the food and storing it in their body as fat. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Hey, okay. So that's what bulimia scientific. is. Scientific. Yeah. So no. it's kind of like tied with um, anorexia. So anorexic people would not eat like at all. Hmm. But bulimia, we enjoy the food, but then it has it can't go and down. You know, funny enough, it actually gets addictive. Yeah. Like at the point you actually can't not do it. Like yeah. every time you feel the food going down, it has to come out. But yeah, it was it was really bad. It was how a long, very horrible that, phase. Was that phase? It was like a year and a half Ooh, that's long wow. yeah. that's crazy yeah. i used to do laxatives like so yeah. much and it, in my head i was like is it that deep yeah is yeah. it really that deep but yeah i'm glad you you went past that yeah. and now to what i was about to say the health yeah yeah so what what role would you say that your family um, played in you becoming body positive or did they play a role at all are you like still going home and they're like and you're just like oh my god these guys are about to complain and the whole body positivity thing is, is from you and it's not with their support it's yeah what's your support you. system well my <laughs> nuclear family you know they're past that stage they understand the concept of body positivity but my extended family is the problem hey, i mean for them it's even worse because like i'm i'm not afraid to show skin right right yeah, yeah. then they see something on my tiktok and then they call my mother and they're like <laughs> and Charlie, i mean i was i i was an i was a content creator for streams by dd so i remember sometime i did uh like a whole video like it was content and i posted it and everyone sent it to my mother's family group everyone like family group I brought- bro. <laughs> no, you guys are scheming like it's really not that deep uh, right no because family what do you expect your mother to say you're supposed right? to like the uh, video say oh sorry <laughs> what's reply she's supposed to give like no nah, guys are bad vi- no it's crazy <laughs> bad vibes hey and i mean my mom called me and she's like oh this is this is what's happening what, what did she, she say? say and i was like oh she should just ignore and then i when i got the time i just created a group and added all of them i was like charlie it's not that deep like yeah yeah <laughs> your mother didn't tell you to take it down no she didn't oh wow she tried you know because Ghanaian mothers they they can yeah. really get influenced it's like yeah. i understand you eh, but for I, the sake of everybody yeah. just I delete like, it yeah. they just want peace of mind yeah it's like that's what it is. Yeah. i understand you but just delete yeah. it yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, she, she didn't she didn't pull that yeah. card oh that's nice i was asking because like a lot mm. of people would say um is their family who the reason why they are not body positive is because like when they're growing up the parents will say like little things almost like microaggressions like small things like don't eat this you're eating too much yeah what did you know you those types of things and then you grow up and then it just kind of sticks with you yeah so the self-love is just not there and then a lot of people have to like work from ground zero like from zero and try to build up their own you know level of self-love i mean enough i never actually got body shamed by my nuclear family it was more church and extended family church yeah, i really hated going forward extended family programs because yeah. hey why you can see oh. and it, my sister it was like smaller than me yeah. right so every time they're like and i will found me and penny oh, like Charlie. and oh it was actually, is she younger or older she's older right and then, like she's smaller and i'm i'm bigger and taller so everybody just used to yeah. always like yeah. attack me yeah, that's good that's good I'm, yeah. I'm glad you had that like 
So I call it support, but like, you know, at least there were good vibes in your yeah. in your home. Yeah, that's good, that's good. I'm glad. What else can we do to like just in general, just like to everybody, what can we do to demystify the negative connotations to body types or in the society? Like what can we do in our small corners to ensure that people are more body positive? Um to the two of you. Me, I'm now learning. Me, I think mm-hmm. like pushing say like content that people like her do mm-hmm. is is very important because I think a lot of people who are you know not the conventional body type or the conventional beauty mm-hmm. the fit the conventional conventional mm-hmm. beauty standards tend to like hide. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they don't post on Instagram. If they post Instagram it's like a selfie. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why it's like so if someone if you post it's like people are like oh my god but it's really not that crazy like yeah it's just a post right like a post you would do a post i would do so i feel like people just need to be need to get to the level where they are they are comfortable with showing who they are being their true self and for like the work that you do like what should i call the work whatever what you do someone will see you and be very like motivated by you be like oh my god I love her confidence. I love this. I love this. And so because of that, they're also going to post. And eventually, yeah. everybody just going to understand that we all we are all different. We can't all look the same. The yeah. So everybody just post themselves how they are. Zoo post himself. A few post himself. You post yourself. You, all of everybody post themselves how they are. Yeah. And like they say you post yourself. Pay attention. Post yourself. Please. Yeah. Post, post yourself, yourself as post you yourself are. As you are. That's a, the hashtag for this episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I think. That's what we can do. So well, for me, I, you know, like when plus size girls text me and they're like, oh "My God," and oh, they're like, "I really like your content." It just makes me so happy because I'm like, oh, <laughs> but yeah, like oh, sometimes people text me and they're like, "I really like your content. Like you really helped me with my self confidence." I'm just so teary, my yeah. moment. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, for me, I just feel like everybody should just mind their own business. I'm sorry, but yes, yeah. <laughs> because even if everyone ate the same amount of food, we would still look, look different. different. Yeah, yeah. and the fact that somebody is big doesn't mean they eat a lot. Yeah, because I have like big friends that don't eat, yeah. like they literally don't eat. Yeah, like people have underlying diseases as to why, and. Yeah. Nobody can change like what you are saying about someone will not push them to go to the gym or yeah. <laughs> you are just making somebody depressed for no reason. Yeah. Because I I don't think me going to the gym had to do with anything that anyone said about yeah, my body. Just like a it was me that wanted to like you know what I want to have some body. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I feel like just just don't comment on people's weight. And yeah. actually like build deeper connections with people. Why are you judging someone because of the way they look? Yeah. And a lot of times, people cannot actually change the way they look. Like, body positivity does actually only have to do with weight. Like, somebody's K-legged, you are shaming them. Somebody's boobs are sagging, oh, you are shaming them. Oh, you are them. saying like, a lot. Like, sure. what do you want them to do? <laughs> like, yeah, genuinely. That's, that's their breast. Like, you are just shaming them for no reason. Okay, the person felt bad, and then you didn't get any money. The person just felt sad, and then what happens? Like, yeah. So honestly, I just feel like everyone should mind their own business. And for girls who are in body positive, I feel like it's, it's a journey. I don't, I don't think body positivity should be forced on anyone. Maybe if you will be yeah. body positive in the kind of body that you are looking for, that's okay. So just work towards it. Yeah. Yeah. And what's your view on um, plastic surgery, liposuction, stuff like that? Hmm. I was about to bring that up, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, like right now, like yeah, this right second, here. you're like, hey, it's twinnies. Twinnies. <laughs> <laughs> My view on it's a tough question. Surgery. Very tough. Yeah, answer like, well. Yeah, I know. Two, I know Zeus answer, view. So, so you yes. say your own, then I'll say Zeus answer. Okay. I mean, um, honestly, I don't care. It's your body. Like, yeah. That's the point. Like, is your body? You do what you want to do with your body. I mean, for for people out there who are suffering to lose their weight and don't have that kind of money, it's going to be annoying for them because, like, I'm taking a shortcut and all that. But for me, why are you doing it? Like, why are you doing it for someone? Are you doing it for the male species? Please don't do anything for the male species. Are you doing it for yourself? (laughs) 
Like yeah. all of those things matter. <laughs> so if your reasoning behind it does not make sense, then maybe I'd be offended. But if you want to look at a certain way and maybe you don't want to go through that process, that's okay. I mean, I don't know if you can gain weight back after plastic surgery. But sure. You can't, Papa. If you don't change that <laughs> come back. part of you, thing, you still gain the weight again. And you have to go again. Yeah. Your answer is Zeus' yeah. answer too. Really? Yeah. Is it? Somehow. I have more to add. So. Hey, scholar. <laughs> That's me, baby. That's me. So me, I think it's, it depends on where, why you're doing the surgery because I think some plastic surgery is necessary. You know, I actually had this conversation with my friend recently. Mm-hmm. What? Like, no, some of it's necessary. Like, people mm-hmm. who have like crazy big breasts. Mm-hmm. And they, like, they it's affecting their through. back and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. You have to get a reduction or your leg is doing something. You have to I mean, it's not plastic surgery, but reconstructive or corrective surgery, whatever that is. You have to do that surgery for your health, like for health reasons. Yeah. Because if you don't do the surgery, something happens to you. Yeah. So I think in those, I, I 100% support it in those um, instances. instances. But then I also feel like, bro, for example, if you have people who are doing like nose jobs and like, I understand you, but the thing is, Beauty is so... It's like fashion. It yeah. changes all the time. Right. So if you do surgery in this 2023 and you make your nose slim, in 2025, you see that, ah, your old nose is now fashionable. Hey, so, go buy you so for that. So now do it again right? and go, You know, because you're yeah. chasing a certain, like... Yeah. Beauty standard. You know, beauty standard. And you're trying to, like, fit... Like, that's what you see. You see all the celebrities all the time. The, the K sisters and so on. Like, they keep... Like the face is changed every year. There's a new face. They are releasing new faces every year. You know, <laughs> yeah, and it's because like they're chasing something, and you see their original face. I'm like, bro, it wasn't that bad. Like, come on. Yeah. So I think it depends on why you do it, and I feel like if you are doing it because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your body. So if you are doing it because you want to look a certain way, that's fine. But I feel like in 2025, yeah, like if eventually you like just so, yeah. I need to no, I need to change this. I need to change this, and you just keep. Like where do you where do you like stop? A, yeah, I'm looking like a bad drawing. That was <laughs> a bad drawing. <laughs> yeah, I so get yeah, what you mean. That, that's what that's what I think about it. Yeah. Okay, so I want to go back to your whole content creating thing. You said you've worked with Swims by Didi. Which other brands? Not necessarily like putting them out there. Like I've worked for this. Like which kind of brands have you worked for? Like shoe brands, clothing brands. Just generalize. I don't work for shoe brands. Hmm. Why are you saying why are you saying it's like that? Because. <laughs> Hey. I want to hear the story. No, it's not a story. I just don't wear for shoe brands because my leg size is ridiculous. What's your size? I wear size 46. Okay. As a girl. That's extremely yeah, that's ex- exact. So I, I and you know what's weird? Because shoe brands reach out to me and I'm like, Charlie, you yeah, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have my size. I don't think you have my size. Oh. And okay. it's actually always true because they're like, oh, what's your size? And I'm like 46. Hmm. But yeah, well, I've worked for the Maki official. Okay. Mm, I've worked for Warb's Beauty as well. I don't know. I don't remember. No, just, you can just generalize. I don't want, like, name, like, you don't have to okay. name drop. Like, which industries I've, have you worked in and what was the I've experience like? for makeup industries. Mm-hmm. I've worked for um, clothing, fashion, of course. Yeah. Um, I think that's, that's been basically it. Yeah. And events as well, but I mean, that's like normal events and stuff. Great. Okay. So I'm curious about the students by D. Um, how did that come about? Like, how? Okay, so I was like starting my um, body positivity journey, right? Okay. And I, funny enough, I reached out. Okay. A lot of people think if you're an influencer, you can't like reach out to brands, but I reached out and yeah. then she was like very happy to work with me. Yeah. And I wanted to start there because like, Big girls are really shaved in the bikini. Yeah, hundred percent. Like everybody's like, why are you wearing the bikini? I remember when I posted my shirt and like we post somebody came and then she's like um oh, she. digital foot oh, I really don't like when women oh, body shame. Yeah. She's like digital footprints. Oh, I had so much hate. Digital comments. footprints. Like I you should know. be careful of your digi- digital footprints. Yeah. And she, the- I remember her because she was like grown like she was a grown woman of course and i was like so old woman would say that and i, <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't say anything and i had like so many people in my comment section coming for me and they're like why do you, does she want me to wear a and sit at the beach <laughs> and yeah. all of that but i mean it was it was just funny for me a lot of people actually came for me i think that post was like my most liked post mm. 
for a long time because they really really came for me they really really came for me because mm. i was it was just a beginning to peace yeah but my mom really liked the picture oh i think that was the most important <laughs> thing right did. Did. Actually, as long as the people around you are feeling you yeah so that's the most yeah. important thing yeah. But I mean, yeah, uh, apart from, yeah, so that's how things like came about. Mm. But I really loved working with her, actually. She's a very, very nice person. Aww, Shout out to Dax. Shout out to you. You know, she, I told her to come on the podcast. And like, she said, no, she's the shy, she's said, oh, she's yeah, shy I'm, type. I'm shy, I'm shy. <laughs> I don't know what she's at. And she listens, so I know she'll hear this. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Aside content creation, what else do you do? Sorry to cut you. Okay, I do. I'm a student. So. What are you studying? Business administration. Oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, but that's I saw good, your um, your I saw your Snapchat name and you put ESQ. Cause I'm an aspiring lawyer. Like oh, I, okay. I so like after the business, business yeah. Mm. Yeah, so you like school, yeah. yeah, I do. I, I really. She said she likes that. reading too. So yeah, she likes reading too. Yeah, and then you can do the law. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. That's I'm what they said for everyone. Though. But everybody complaining <laughs> on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably like you will not sleep and things, but like you'll be fine. You know, you go do one. You go do one. Anyway, before I was really interrupted, I was like, let's ask you. Yeah. So, would you say there's like a body positivity community? Yeah. Like in Accra? Because I know, like, I go, I go on TikTok sometimes. I don't know why they show me that content, but I see a lot of content from the body positivity ladies. Why don't you send it to me? Since you want me to be body positive. These are, you these see are, what I'm these saying? Are like, oh, no, no. You, see, you see how you were saying those people are annoying you were earlier on? Uh-huh. They also annoying me. Really? Which people? Me? You. I'm talking what, about people. What have I done? <laughs> Anyways, I'm, talk, I'm talking no, about... No, 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 relax. Yeah, let me give you a... <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's let's trash this out. I want to understand. What I, have I said? I, I, I said I'd no like way. to be your she therapist. Said, she said... No, Come no, no. Earlier, Why you... You, you asked her, mm-hmm. the the small people who are saying, um, mm-hmm. who say... What did you say? Slim people who say that they are big. They yeah, are annoying. They are annoying, yes. Yes. So if they are annoying to you... What are you doing to help them become better people? You are seeing body positivity content. You are not no, sharing no, no, it with but me. It's not the kind of, but it doesn't, you will not resonate with it. Why won't I resonate with it? Because it's a different body type. It doesn't matter. It, it still, matter. still yeah. comes okay, down I'll to the same to thing. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, people like, like Lizzo. Lizzo is like a big advocate for like. Yeah. Um, so it's people who are like Lizzo. So mm-hmm. it's not you. It doesn't matter. The message yeah, is still the same. Love yourself. Love your body. Isn't that what it is? Kind of, yes. Anyway, so... She is not learning anything from what you are saying. I mean, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm living here change. But Zoo... Zoo so is not learning anything, Zoo. Today, I'll send you, I'll send you some, don't worry. Anyway. I'll send mm-hmm. her, you tell me that I should stop. Don't worry. So, <laughs> as I was saying... <laughs> like, they, I'm body positive, kind of, but I get it. They kind of have, like, a community where they kind of support each other. Yeah. If some if somebody insults one person, they all of them will come, like, yeah, like talks. Beehive. Um, yeah, it's like yeah. a hive. Perfect word. Yeah. So, if you mess with one, all of the rest of them will come for you. Do you have a community like that in Accra? Or is there a community like that in Accra? Or do you want to build a community like that? Or are I you like, everybody do. should just focus on themselves? No, I actually do want to build. I actually do want to build. I don't think I'm ready yet. I wanted to call it existing loudly. That's right. But Existing loudly. loudly. Okay, that's but nice. But one thing I don't like about like the body positivity community you're talking about is you're trying to advocate body positivity, right? But for these people, if you come for them, their body, oh they will God. come for yours as well. Like, yes. they, they will come for you and they will dress yes. you. And in my head, I'm like, you are trying to fight for someone to accept yeah. you. And you're attacking somebody's looks and personality. Yeah, yeah, well, not personality, sense. but like your looks and physical appearance. And yeah. I'm like, so what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I feel like for these things, it's really education. And my parents don't say bad things to us. Like, my parents don't call us lazy. Like, they don't... It's a thing that we grew up with. Yeah. I feel like maybe at a point, my mom would have wanted to comment about my weight. But she just doesn't say anything that she thinks will bring anyone down. But for body positivity, it's something that she needed to be, like, taught. Yeah. So I feel like, just teach. Like, just teach people. But then do you feel like they are, they are driven to reacts that way because like, like they are tired like oh yeah i trust me I, I have i have felt like that so many times because i mean somebody used to insult me i'm like wait yeah yeah 
But I'm like, Charlie, you have to you be know what? Like, sometimes I understand them. Like, you see someone who's actually very beautiful and they posted that picture. Then some guy be you come and say something and then you open the picture. I'm like, <laughs> I know this guy is not talking. Like, yeah, like, I what's know you're not talking. Right? Yeah. Like, pot calling the kettle black. There's yeah. no way you are talking about somebody in this way. Yeah. So I understand them a lot, actually. Yeah. But I also get what you mean that sometimes it's just, I don't know. You know. I mean, you are taking a movement back when you do things like that. Mm. You are literally backtracking. Yeah. I mean, it's hard, move. But me, yeah, I feel like that a lot of times. Because sometimes I'm like, ah, are you serious? Yeah. But I'm like, you know what? Maybe time, they don't love themselves. There was a time where, a period where Lizzo, I think she went vegan, and then she was doing like detoxing and things. And then the community turned on her. Did, mm. you, did you see that? Did you see that? I happen? did. And for me, I was very conflicted. Like, I understood where they were coming from. But at the same time, I'm like, at the end of the day, it's her body, it's her life, it's her choice. Like, if she wants to lose weight, she can. Like, let her lose weight. But they were kind of like, no, you can't leave us. They didn't say that, but like, yeah. that was yeah. the energy. And it's like, I understand because she's like a shining light for them, and an example, you know. Because she's famous, right? Yeah. And she's, I mean, not many people who look like Lizzo are able to get to like the top of the entertainment space, especially yeah. in America, where it's, which is very like fast forward. Yeah. And so for her to get to that level and then for her to kind of like, I don't want to say turn her back because she wasn't turning her back on them. She yeah. was doing her. And people were really upset. And I was just like, I was thinking, oh, bro, I was thinking about it for like two days. I didn't, I didn't know what side to be on. You know what I mean? So what, what did you think when you saw that? I mean, I, hmm. you see, I, I feel like I understand this. I actually do like I feel like because for the longest time, I've never actually wanted to lose weight. No, not like I've wanted to lose weight, yeah. but I've never wanted to be skinny. Right. Mm. Like if there's one reason why why I've procrastinated doing surgery, I feel like if I get surgery, I'll lose my buttocks. But <laughs> <laughs> and another reason too was because I felt like I'm a beacon. Like people see me, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you start going to the gym, and they're like, "Charlie, like, what's going on? Yeah. Are we supposed to not like ourselves as well?" Yeah. But I don't know. I don't. I also understand where the Arab people are coming yeah, from. It was very yeah. yeah. It's a dicey situation. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like people like that don't actually understand body positivity. I feel like there's a big difference between being fat positive and body positive. Mm. What's the difference? Because if you are fast positive, you are obsessed with being big. Body positivity is being obsessed with yourself and your yeah. body. However you look, whether you lose weight or you gain weight or you... Yeah. It's you. Yeah. Like, accepting yourself. Yeah. And changing the things that you don't like. Yeah. But a lot of body positive girls are actually just fat positive. Like, they want to be big. Well, maybe not want to be big, but they want to push being big, like... You want to make it look like it's a, it's a thing, like my big and where is it? Like, it's okay. No, I won't say this. But <laughs> oh, feel free, feel free. No, I won't. Okay, I will actually because yeah, I don't it, have friends it. like that. Hey, but there are a lot of people that say that um, the LGBTQ make being LGBTQ their personality, right? Mm-hmm. I've, I actually have a lot of LGBTQ friends that are not like that, mm-hmm. but I feel like that's how fat people are, they make being fat their personality. Right. Like, okay. there's nothing more to you than the fact that you're fat. Yeah. Okay. I see. I think I've seen I've seen that type of content before where it's like everything is geared towards... It's, it's about being fat. Yes. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you can literally come for their eyebrows and they, they'll tell you that you're body, body shaming them. Yeah. So, for that, you're not really body positive. Then you don't really understand the concept of body positivity. But, yeah. I mean, they'll do It even comes back to, like, people like zoo and everybody in general like, like me. the fact that zoo could say that he saw body positive content but it was not tailored for me shows that the problem is much more bigger than like sizes no relax relax for example if if the community saw lizzo as like um, a body positive person and she liked herself they will not be upset if she wanted to be slimmer because body positivity from what her definition is loving yourself and wanting whatever you think is better for yourself for yourself. Mm. So if she's slimmer and she feels like she wants to be on a detox or feel healthier, whatever, whatever, they should have been able to support her. But the reason they can't support her is because in their community, everybody's thick. 
if there were slim people in the community, skinny people in the community, slim thick people, thick, everybody is in the same community and we all know that we love ourselves just the way we are and it's okay to be any size. If today I decide to become thicker, nobody's going to be angry with me because we are all within the same com community. But within the body positivity community, we are segregating that thick people body positivity, slim people body positivity, slim thick positivity. Uh, so the so moment you cross, done. yes, the moment you move to another place, it becomes a problem. However, we all just need to be in like one circle. <laughs> so why are you making I me laugh? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it's it's we all have to be one That's circle right. so that like it's okay to be any size. But then okay, Afi size is this. If if Afi becomes adubia, right? Adubia, 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 adubia size. Is it healthy for her? Because we know that this is maybe her normal structure. Is it healthy for her? If it's healthy for her, no problem. Mm. There's nothing wrong with it. If she becomes my size, is it healthy for her? If it's healthy for her, no problem. The only reason why somebody should be um, attacked, quote unquote, for wanting to change their weight is if it's going to have an effect on their health. That's what I think. Yeah, that's, that's very good. I'm proud of you. Not to clap it for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's raining. But God I, already knew you clap for me today. I don't clap, you blast me again, especially. <laughs> no more food. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, over to you. Like, these are the kind of things that go through my mind. I know that I'm not body positive, like, all the time. But if the community was more, like, welcoming to slimmer people, thicker people, everybody would just be happy, you know? And I think these are the kind of messages that like people need to hear. That like it's okay to be slim, it's okay to be thick, it's okay to put on a little weight, especially for us women. We can't even talk about that now. Like if you are on like your period or ovulating or this or the, your guy you put you on some drug, hey, forget about that. Your your body weight will just fluctuate. Yeah. If you, you get, get pregnant. It. If you, Oh. Your nose will become big. Uh, my family know. like this. I've seen the way my sisters move. <laughs> <I'm scared>, like. <laughs> I already told Zuda oh. if I when I become pregnant, or if I become Just pregnant, wait. I'm not coming to shoes day by plan because not me that will bring my soul in no see. That's what that body positivity I like drop me <laughs> here. Yeah, I can't do it. You wear the face mask. And Zoo is always sending me those pregnancy humbled me things. I say, hey God, don't humble <laughs> me. I beg out to be proud. No, but there's a there's an easy yeah. way out. There's an easy way out. What I should contour my nose. Or don't have kids. Don't have kids, baby. <laughs> Zoo doesn't like children, I but like I digress. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so Zoo doesn't like children, but nice, forget nice. about it. Forget Are about it. Forget about we'll it. Talk about it. <laughs> so, like, just being a woman in itself is already challenging, right? Yeah. And now you have to manage society's standards of what beauty is. Yeah. So it's, it gets tough. It yeah. really gets tough. It does. It really it does. gets tough. And, and I'm yeah. glad we're having this conversation, and I really hope that this conversation, like inspires or encourages someone we don't have all the answers but like just being open about like our weight or like our problems or the kind of stuff that i just also want to add if if any one of us has said anything wrong just go on to the type at a feature guy click, <laughs> click the dm icon and just drop all your complaints there don't bring it to me Thank no, they so should much. drop it in here. She's the one who is the advocate. Oh, okay. so she's the best person like to any of you guys. <laughs> me, I just I'm not among that. I so. think you should tell Zoom. He's karma. Nah. Anyway, that's true. Me, I'll, I'll not reply. So don't you waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> but like Zoom was saying, there's, uh, there's really no community, or there's no like. No, there's actually no. Which is wild. Well, maybe hmm. there is, and we don't know. Maybe, but there's this girl I really look up to, uh, Vera. Bougie. Bougie pee. I, think I, I, I think I've seen her pace, yeah. Mm -hmm. Vera is... I like... She's... Do you understand? Use your yeah. words. Use your words. Like, she makes me so happy. Right. Because mm -hmm. she's a dancer, right? And mm -hmm. she's big. Mm -hmm. Like, she's big. And she has a very flat stomach. Can you show us the way? Anyway. <laughs> but she's a dancer. And she she's very comfortable. And she's the best belt in Ghana. The best plus size fashionista I've seen. Because she knows how to dress. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, because, you know, like, for fashion, the fashion community is not very friendly to us. Yeah, I wanted to even ask. At yeah, all. so for how she can balance all of that, that's just beautiful. I mean, I don't think she's a body positivity influencer. She's just an influencer. But yeah, I, there's actually no community I, that yeah. I know of. Mm -hmm. But I mean, worldwide, is the body positivity community is not very accepting. But I feel like every community is like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They like to hold on to the fact that they are different. Yeah. So, yeah. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, man, you can change but it. But we'll get there. Yeah. We'll yeah. get there. It's a gap for you, clearly, so you can't you can you make can something happen. I mean, it's very hard, but we are persevering. Yeah. 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 When you're if, young, if you, you have your whole life for you. ahead of you. I feel here. If you have any Twitter beef, a few, a few. I mean, I'm already stressed, she, so I want to. I'm looking for an excuse to fight. <laughs> she fights for you. Really? Me, I'll just I be, never I'll just be say anything when they tell. Yeah, don't worry, because I don't say, have a reason. Exactly. I need I proper care. reason to fight. Me, I'll just be liking and reason. <laughs> when, when somebody comes to me on the tell again, I'll come and say, Yeah, just send it to me. Just send it to me. So, yeah, I mean, this has been lovely. You want to wrap up? Yeah, let's wrap Before it up. we wrap up, I just want to ask two questions. One is about fashion. You mentioned fashion. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like the fashion is it fashion fashion community clothing, especially clothing community, is Fast fashion is very like biased towards slimmer people? Because I have thicker friends who are always like, I'm not getting this dress in my size. Like I didn't see this in my size. Like yeah, mm-hmm. they always make the the, the coolest moves. styles for like the slimmer girls, and then the thick girls yeah. always have like some boring type is this true it is very and how does it make you feel i mean i don't know i'm not the Mm. most fashionable person right but like sometimes actually bothers me because sometimes you go to go somewhere and you are looking for a dress and charlie you'll find yeah like you now you know but i mean i get it that i personally Mm -hmm. i feel like clothes look flattering with skinnier bodies because you can see like the caves and then the but do you think that's because they are designed to look flattering yes so I, want to I, I, yeah, I actually do yeah. think that as well but then that... again what should they do because yeah. if they make different clothes for bigger people different clothes for skinnier people we'd complain that we're not being treated yeah. the same yeah if There's they design to complain about yeah, yeah exactly but i mean for big girls i mean for i feel like skinnier girls if you're size 12 when you're size 12 but for big girls, for me like this, I'm a size 12 at the top and I'm a size 18 down. Right. Mm-hmm. So if I'm buying a size 18 dress, it will be yeah. big. Yeah. If I'm buying a size 12, it will be too small. It will be small. Mm. So, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything that can be done yeah. as at now. Maybe unless... It's what I actually really like swims by the You see, you can pick like a top size differently. Yeah. And then yeah. A, yeah. So aside swims by did do you know any clothing brands you can plug in? Like where For do you get yeah, f- uh, even if it's can't do you have any guy who is there, you know that like, this nigga is my G if I'm looking for a dress. Justice. Yeah, for example. Mm. Okay. I'd like to shop at Lumoki Official because I mean I've worked with them and they actually have like clothes that fit my size. Sheen, I don't like to you. Like even though sometimes but Sheen is like my number one plug. Mm. Um, hmm. MRP sometimes. Mm, sometimes. As in Mr. Price. Yeah. 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 I mean, and there's anyone call this MRP before. Oh, so. Really? Yeah. I always hear say Mr. Price. Mm-hmm. Um, there's this shop, Kevy Plus Size Shop. Kevy. The owner is called Lena. Mm. Her her TikTok is King Lena. You probably like see, but she has very very trendy clothes as mm. well. Yeah, but for me, it's mostly like Sheen and mm. Cantamount. But mm. I don't have a plug. You yeah, have just I go just through wait. and check and see what's there. Okay, and what's the future looking like for you with respect to like just this whole journey you're on right now that you've come on stage by plan the biggest podcast in africa that's right that's right <laughs> tell them you're tell going to them. get like brands reaching out to you <laughs> the brands are not even reaching out to us <laughs> sorry you're going to get brands reaching out to you like you know you're you're just a beacon of hope and already and now it's just going to get the pressure is going to get worse so what what's the plan for the future i mean there's no actual detailed plan. Yeah, but which is I fine. feel like we're going like that. Step by step. It's not something I'm ready to give up on now. It's the plan. A lot of people actually like make me feel very some way about it. Right. Like, people even close to me. But I don't think it's something I'm ready to give up on. Don't mind them. See, you being here already our, shows our, that like you're on the right track. Is the most important. <laughs> <laughs> and we are saying that continue the good work. <laughs> Everybody I mean, when I see the number of girls that actually like it helps, yeah, yeah, it just yeah. pushes me on, yeah, yeah, because Ghanaians need to be taught a lot. Mm. You know what? I have, an, I have an idea for you do a TikTok series, do a TikTok series where you just 
teach Ghanaians how to respect people. Regardless of irrespective of their way, they will insult you, but like it's it's fine. Yeah, yeah, they will. But that's that's that's. that's, that's I said, just go out fishing, sort out for you. Yeah. I think I'm immune to insult right now. Yeah, Maybe they am not, fine, but I can come and defend someone. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. Let's run out time. Time is fast spent. We need to okay. we need to go home and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, let's wrap it up. Do you have any songs that you want people to listen to or song that you've been feeling recently? There's this song I heard recently. I don't know if you know it. It's called Gone Girl. It's by Saz and oh, another guy. Oh, such a good song. Yes, I love yes. like I and I checked and it was released like years back. Yes, it's pretty old. It's a yeah. beautiful song. I don't know it. I'll play for you. It's really good. Zudia, sometimes who lies on the podcast that he knows things, but me, I'm not that type of girl. Me, I'll tell you the truth. See, so, yeah, I sing. Gone girl, <laughs> Isn't that a song? Yeah, he's right. Ah. Yeah, we are DJ Su and A and R since certain things. <laughs> but yeah, 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 that's a good song. That's a good song. Mm. And then, is there anyone you'd like to hear on this podcast? Hmm. I'm a huge Alexia Cara fan. I'm not even like. Hey, so you should go and bring Alex- Alexia Cara. To- <laughs> Uh, please, I beg you, calm down. Someone you can adjust to. Someone you can adjust to. <laughs> Relax <laughs> for us. I suppose have like a big vision. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, so you've you want, added it to the big vision with Drake so and J. Like, Cole and those a, other people. We've added them there. So, yeah, yeah. someone in Ghana, <laughs> we can <laughs> reach. I'm a better boy girl, Charlie. So. Thank you. Ben, I'm sending my texts. Yeah. Small joke. I don't even. I can't. Even, I don't even have the, the confidence to look at the camera and say Benna boy. <laughs> Benna boy. Benna boy. I'm calling you out. Come no, and stay actually, J Bad. J yes. Bad. Yeah. I'm calling you out. Come and stay by plan. Yeah. J Bad. Yeah. All right. My so. best friend is obsessed with him. Yeah. She has a huge crush. Yeah. Her name is Daniel. Hi Daniel. Hi Daniel. <laughs> when we and get him, we'll call her. Right. Hi Jamal. When when he comes, we'll call her to come to the studio. Yeah. Hey, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> We'll fly here in the Thank you guys so much Period. for joining us. It's been amazing. Great episode. Once again, if I said anything wrong, please tell Afi. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize. This was really good. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so Thank much, you so for, much like, for having yeah. me. Yeah, it's a great Thank conversation. You. Thank so. you for opening up about everything. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for listening. And yeah, we'll catch up again another time. Yeah. Stay body positive. Yeah, stay by plan. Stay, and stay by plan. Post yourself as you are. Yes. Like and don't forget to you guys look into the camera and say don't forget to post, post yourself as you are, are. So, <laughs> let's go again hey. don't forget to post, post yourself, yourself as, as you are, are. okay all right, all right. bye bye this episode of stay by plan was hosted by afi and zoo production was done by afi zoo senna and nikita sound and video was edited and produced by zoo sound design by senna video and photos by nams Additional videos by Ellis, motion graphics by Eugene, and the intro song was by Lil Kwao.